All right, guys, it's time for an update. What has been happening with the Bendy Pros? All right, so it's just 10 days after the Kickstarter went up and we're about 50% funded uh, with 280 backers right now. So that is pretty good. I wanna thank all of you who have backed it, shared it. We are doing great. Let's talk about what I've been doing. I haven't been putting out videos because it turns out engineering this thing and making videos is like two different parts of the brain that don't work together. For the past week, I've been sitting in front of a computer doing all the mechanical drawings for this thing. So let me quickly tell you how I go about designing a product. See, there is like a million ways to design, but there's only one right way and usually the best way is the way which gives you the most features for the least amount of cost we want this thing to do a bunch of things but we want it at the lowest price right and so so those are two of the big and important criteria that i have to work with of course there's others like uh, ease of use aesthetics also play a big part in the whole thing so let me tell you a little bit about how this works look this is the main part of the lathe. Some people have said that this looks like a bicycle chain mechanism, which is true. It looks similar and it works sort of the same principle. It takes three pieces to make this thing happen. What happens is that this screw kind of sandwiches that there and then applies pressure to this orange one. And that is what creates the drag. Some people have asked if this is just going to be metal to metal. And the answer is yes and no. And the reason why it's both is because it's not going to be aluminum to aluminum. I have been experimenting with different types of washers to put in between the two moving parts. Some of them, some of these materials are great because they are buttery smooth, right? They're like super smooth, which will work for light cameras, but they don't have a lot of holding power. And so I've been experimenting with different combinations like one plastic, one nylon washer, and then one phenolic or whatever. So a bunch of different types of materials. And they all have their, diff their, their things. Some uh, can hold more weight, some feel better when you're like bending them. And of course, some of those are pretty evident that they're not gonna wear very well through time as you bend and bend and bend the legs. So we don't wanna use those, we wanna use some materials that will last for a long time. Here, I it started experimenting with brass, another metal, but it's a soft metal. And so what that allows you to do is like, it's still pretty soft, but it has holding power, right? Cause it's that soft metal. And I think that's gonna last a long time because even if the brass starts wearing with time, then you could always tighten the screw up again and then applying the same amount of pressure that it had at the beginning and then getting your tripod performing just as if it was new. This is the 10 inch and this is the seven inch. This is gonna be standard. So everyone that pledged the $99, uh, the 129 and even the 149 towards the end of the campaign is gonna get this. I am gonna make another pledge that will give you the extra part to make the seven into a 10. Pretty sure we're gonna be able to do that for you. So when you get your tripod, it's gonna be already just assembled to 10 inch. You don't have to do it yourself, but you could if you wanted to. Some people have also asked, what is the weight capacity of these guys? Why don't we test that right now? I'd say this is a good shape right here because all the weight's gonna be on this links right here. This right here is a four pound weight. All right, so we'll put this on top. As you can see, it'll hold it no problem. This right here is five pounds. It'll hold five pounds. So we put this four pound on top of it. Ah, see, that's where it starts going. So it's actually, it's going down right now. So the limit using this uh, brass washers, which are the ones that are I'm toward leaning towards because they seem to be, you know, smooth, but hold about eight pounds. I'd say we can probably safely say that the 10 inch will hold about eight pounds, which is a lot, a lot of, camera package for a tiny little tripod right now of course in this configuration it will hold a lot more because you know the because that's just the way the physics work right this is nine pounds here and i can still push 
further down and it won't go anywhere. These feet here are actually helping a lot because they're rubber so they won't actually spread apart. So the beauty about this design, of course, is that it's modular. And so let's say that you somehow have a really heavy camera that you would like to use on this. You can take your tripod apart and then put metal washers in here or get rid of the washers and just leave the aluminum to aluminum. Now, it's not gonna be really easy to use, right? Because it's, it's really hard to turn these. That's the reason why we're not gonna offer this because if you're using a point and shoot and stuff, it's gonna be like really hard to move the leg if you don't need to mount about 15 pounds worth of weight on these guys then you don't need to struggle with the legs every time you want to set it right so you want to have a smoother operation with less drag on the feet but for those of you who need special applications this right here will hold probably 15 i want to say maybe up to 20 pounds and the regular setup like this <laughs> yeah, it's gonna hold a lot of weight. So that's the beauty about this thing is adjustable. You can take a, an Allen wrench and then, you know, loosen up a little of the legs and then it'll become softer. So that's easier to use. Or you can tighten it up, change the little bushings in here and put, you know, if you need some special application to hold 20 pounds using this guy. What else? Due to the time constraints of this project, I can't really get too adventurous with the design of this. It sort of has to be like this because this is what I showed you guys. And if you guys liked it enough to back it, then that means, you know, this is what I have to give you. So I did try another version of this tripod where I added some parts using some of these parts that I made uh, where it the legs actually rotate. And what that allows you to do is to make that J bend that everyone, like the big vloggers are using, right? Of course, the problem with that is that with the time constraints that we have for the Kickstarter, we're gonna have to leave this for like a future upgrade. All right, so that's what's been happening with the design. Now, uh, as far as the Kickstarter goes, some people have asked the extension kit for the legs to make it a 10 inch. We're gonna add that into the thing today. Other people have asked about the possibility of having the ball head included. The ball head in the pictures um, is one that I found on Amazon and it's, like the the most economical decent quality ball head it's about 20 bucks and it doesn't it doesn't seem to fail i've been using it for a couple of months i have just ordered the joby one just to see how it compares as far as weight and size and so maybe we can even make that available so we can offer several heads um depending on what your needs are or your preferences Here's another thing, we have partnered up with Kickbooster, which allows people that share a link to actually get 10% cash back. So, so if your link was to produce about eight pledges, you pretty much can get your tripod for free. So I'm sharing that link today in the update here. So go sign up. There's 20 days left to go, but that time is gonna come and go very quickly and we can use all the help that we can get. All right, guys, this is the first update. Now that the design is kind of finalized, I don't have to do a lot of the mechanical drawing work anymore. I should be able to do more updates for you guys as far as field testing and stuff. I have some ideas and I'll share them with you as soon as you know I can make them happen, all right? Thank you for backing the project. Thank you for supporting, sharing. See you next update. Have no need to fight tonight, tonight. another video.
Hey guys, I've been absent. A bunch of reasons why I visited the chiropractor. The fourth reason I have been working on the Kickstarter. I think I'm gonna call it Bendy Pro. Let's publish this. I just press the button. There you go, people. The Kickstarter is live. What else? Oh yeah, 50,000 subscribers. How do we celebrate? I say I do my first giveaway. I'm not a big shot YouTuber, but I do have something. Bam! I'm gonna give away my old MacBook. The specs are better than the current one that I use. I just got tired of trying to sell it. Why don't I just give it away? one of you guys you'll have to one be subscribed to share and you have to comment I know that's a lot of stuff but you guys are doing that anyway so just come on and you'll enter to win this all right guys see you guys tomorrow thank you bye